Vignette number 16 from Zen is Right Here, Teaching Stories and Anecdotes of Shindu Suzuki. Once a student asked Suzuki Roshi, why do you have 40-minute Zazen periods when most Zen teachers in America have only 30 my legs really hurt when I sit for 40 minutes. Won't you consider having 30-minute periods, at least in session? Suzuki replied, That's very interesting. I've been thinking that we should have 50-minute periods. After a pregnant pause, he added, Mm, but maybe we can compromise. Let's make it uh, 40 minutes. That uh, was told by Durand Kiefer, and it happened in Los Altos. Either uh, in the Haiku Zendo or before the Haiku Zendo was finished in 1966. That's where the Zen Mind Beginner's Mind lectures were given. All but one of them. Duran was a ship captain, and uh, he was always trying to get uh, Suzuki to go uh, sailing with him. Or he tried some. And uh, there's a, a humorous vignette about that, that... Um, you can read about when the sequel to Zen is right here comes out about a year from now in uh, <laughs> July of 2021. <laughs> it's going to be a Shambhala companion book to Zen is right here. And uh, right now the working title is Zen is right now. But we'll see if they use that or not. You know, um, the author, or in this case, some sort of author, editor of the book, because it's just vignettes I've collected, doesn't choose the title. Can recommend it. That's always worked with me, but the uh, choice is really the publisher. Now, uh, back to the length of the sitting periods. I can remember sitting with groups that did 50-minute periods or had some 50-minute periods. I can remember 30-minute periods. We almost always had 40-minute periods. But you get there early, you know. You, you couldn't, it really wasn't 40 minutes because you had to be there sitting at least three minutes early. And it would more likely be 5, 10. You could even be 15 minutes early. So it, it would quite likely be longer. Well, come to think of it, that would just be for the first period. And quite often there was only one period, so that's what I was thinking of. And the the final three minutes, of you know, it's like, uh, say, at our monastery, Tassahar, there'd be a 15-minute han, the, the wooden plaque that's hit with a mallet in a syncopated way uh, that calls people to Zazen. Uh, so it's in three rounds, and uh, the third round is for the teacher, and that's the last three minutes. That's why you have to be seated before that. So it's going to be at least 43 minutes. But like I said, it can be longer. But if there are two periods uh, uh, at Tassara, generally uh, we'd sit... Uh, ex uh, generally we'd sit uh, two periods in the morning, so there'd be a walking uh, meditation in between them. And then the second period, you'd sit down, and it would be 40 minutes. That's true. And in Sashin, they would tend to be 40-minute periods, uh, except for the first one when you come back from a break or the first one in the morning. In Sashin, sometimes uh, they wouldn't hit the bell. <laughs> and it would just go on. <laughs> 
And uh, the Vipassana retreats I've done, the periods are one hour. Uh, but the emphasis on sitting posture isn't as strict as uh, it was with the Japanese teachers who, uh, you know, they didn't make you sit full lotus or half lotus. They're, I mean, well, depending on which ones, there, one, there were some that did require students to sit full lotus and at least half lotus. But um, that was uh, definitely encouraged at Zen Center under Suzuki. Uh, and I, I guess it still is. Uh, but it wasn't, you know, if somebody couldn't do it, it was all right. But in the uh, Vipassana retreats, um, I've been to, ex with one exception, the teachers that uh, we call gurus, uh, where I live in Indonesia, recommend Burmese-style sitting, which is uh, where you uh, don't pull one leg up, you know, over the the uh, thigh, uh, as in full lotus or half lotus. One leg you just leave down flat in front. And so when I'm sitting... Uh, Vipassana retreats here, I'll do, uh, I'll do some half lotus, right half lotus, some left half lotus, some right Burmese, some left Burmese, and some with a, uh, a uh, kneeling chair, seiza chair, a kneeling chair. That, uh, that's just totally different. Uh, and there are hour periods, and there'll be a zillion of them, you know, an hour of sitting, an hour of walking. So this has been a Duke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Duke Audio and Duke Archives, wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. Mm -hmm.